All right, now, I wrote down a list of verbs in their present tense, then I am giving you the past tense, and then we are changing the past to the subjunctive, the present tense subjunctive. Okay, so let's start out with haben. Haben to have. Past tense of haben is hatte. And what do we have to do? We have to add an umlaut. If I had. Sign to be changes to war, was. That changes to wäre. Umlaut plus personal ending. And the meaning is now if I were. Werden. Werden changes to würde, umlaut, würde, if I would. Wissen, to know, past tense is wusste, subjunctive adds an umlaut, personal endings, if I knew. Dürfen is to be allowed to, past tense is dürfte, was allowed to, Subjunctive is dürfte, umlaut, if I were allowed. Können means to be able to, past tense is konnte, could, könnte, umlaut, if I could. Mögen means to like, mochte, liked, möchte, umlaut, if I wanted to. Here it's in the sense of wanting to do something. Müssen, to have to, musste, past tense, had to, müsste, if I had to. The only exception are sollen and wollen, they do not add umlauts. So, sollen, past tense, is sollte, subjunctive, looks exactly the same. If I were supposed to, the translation is, however, different. Wollen, to want, wollte, wanted to, wollte, if I wanted to. And all of these are preceded by if, all subjunctive forms by if, okay? If, if I had, if I were, if I would, if I knew, if I were allowed to, if I could, if I wanted to, if I had to, if I were supposed to, if I wanted to. Again, you use if plus the past tense. That's important. But it has present tense meaning. So these are the, uh, down here we had the modals and then some of the verbs that are exception verbs. They change a little in the middle. So these all change their subjunctive to the forms I wrote down for you. All the other verbs, however, don't do the same thing. If you have a regular verb, you do use the verb würde, would in English. You know, you say, I would study more if I wanted good grades. I would. So would is würde and study, studieren. So you use a form of würde plus the infinitive of the verb. Ich würde mehr studieren, and you put a comma there, and then you continue. If I wanted good grades, wenn ich gute Noten wollte, and wollte comes from this list here. These are the modals. So we use the subjunctive form of the verb wollen, and it goes to the end. So if you use würde, ich würde, subject verb, Infinitive of the, the second verb to the end of the first phrase, comma, then you continue with then, meaning if, remember, and the verb in that when sentence goes to the end also. So, ich würde mehr studieren, wenn ich gute Noten wollte. I would study more if I wanted good grades. Another sentence, wenn ich krank wäre, again, if I were sick, wäre comes from this list over here. Those are the irregular verbs. Subjunctive form, wäre, if I were sick, then I would need medicine. And brauchen is just a regular verb, so we combine it with a form of würde. Würde ich Medizin brauchen? Würde, I, because of ich, 
brauchen infinitive post the end of the phrase. Look at the next sentence. Wenn er viel Geld hätte, if he had a lot of money, hätte again comes from the irregular verb section, hätte, but kaufen is a regular verb, so it's combined with würde. Würde er sich ein Auto kaufen? So remember, subjunctive talks about contrary, contrary to fact situations. It's called the present tense subjunctive because it has present tense meaning. Then always is translated as if. Yeah? If I were, if I had. You use the past tense form of the verb, you add umlauts to vowels in the verb, and you add the personal endings. If you have a regular verb, like studieren, lernen, tanzen, then you combine it with a form of Würde and you use the infinitive of the verb. 